previously on caretaker series so please i will want all of you to to be by my side as i would wish to be the acting national caretaker mr so how did that even come to your mind no you want to be the national caretaker how if anybody should be talking about acting national caretaker you should be me i want you to call me advise me let her step down for me if you want me to step aside i want five hundred thousand there then Mr. Zhu has given me the 500,000 naira and I withdraw 250,000 in cash and I've given it to K Brown. So that's your own share of the money. That's why I say, let me come and tell you. So Mr. Landlord, with this few points of mine, I believe I've been able to convince you and not to confuse you that the ten is the rightful person to uphold the position of the national caretaker in your compound. Caretaker. <laughs> <laughs> K Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Uh, how are you? I'm fine, are you? How is everything? <laughs> everything is I fine. I can see you're, you're spreading your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, you know, I have not seen you for some time. So I'm oh, just passing now. So yes, let me come and know how you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> uh, but this one you're asking, I hope all is well. <laughs> <laughs> all is well. Uh, it's just that uh, I want to just ask you a small question. Keep <laughs> uh, uh, up. That account number that Ma gave to you to give to me. Mm -hmm. Do you know who owns the account number? No, I don't know who owns the account number. Ma gave me the account number and I gave it to you. I don't know who owns it. Wait, wait, wait. You're sure you don't know who owns the account number? No, I don't know who owns the account number. I hope there is no problem. <laughs> Uh, uh, there is no problem. Oh. It's just that I wanted to be sure of who owns the account number that I paid in the money, you know? Uh, <laughs> so just for me, I understand. Sure. Uh, <laughs> okay, now, nah, since there's no problem, let uh, me no, no get my list. <laughs> we'll talk later. No problem. Allow me to do what I know how to do best. No be right to shout. Instead, we apply native sense. Papa, what they do? Begin, begin, follow you. Like father, like son, that's all you go for. I continue. See, the law. Remember, I told you that uh, I got a letter from the FCC clearing me of all charges, right? Uh huh. <laughs> also, remember, after that incident, the FCC came to this compound and arrested me, of which I had to settle. In fact, I had to bribe my way out of their, their custody. I, I, I best then. Can you just go straight to the point? This thing you're saying, I can't comprehend it. Okay, now listen, listen. Prior to all these things, remember I told you I went to the cell to meet with Mark. I told Mark that Mark, I needed your help. I need you to help me out of this EFCC custody. Because it was still Mark that helped uh, Bukola Sayaki when he had EFCC issues. So Mark assured me that he was going to help me. That in fact I should go and rest and relax. That he was going to get a, 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 a word across to me. I was here one day. K Brown now met me and gave me an account number. Mark asked him to give me that account number. That, that account number belongs to an ESC personnel. And I should pay him the sum of 5 million naira into that account. Yeah. Of which I did. Ha! Oh. Best 10! Ah, now best 10! See, 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 see. Mark has defrauded me. Because the ESC came back to arrest me. I had to buy my way out. Too. I had to buy. Oh. I will even pay. So, what are we going to do now? Mark has defrauded me. Do, do. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know what to do. <sighs> Millionaire. Mark. This road.
<laughs> Mark, I don't understand though. You are in prison and you are adding weight. The weight makes sense, right? Yes. See, look at you. Your muscles are coming out. My brother, it is the food and the, the money that I'm making inside self. Yeah. See this self business. This self business is good business. Hey. I didn't know you. Hey, all these men that are go, go, going to prison, they are making money, yo. <laughs> Especially when you become Sir Chairman. <laughs> it's like becoming president. <laughs> wow. I'm making money from revenue. <laughs> no, it's what, hey, what were you telling me about Pesten? Uh -huh. See, Pesten has been asking questions about that account number that he paid 5 million naira into. He, and I even forgot to tell you, EFCC came and took Pesten, but Pesten is back. He didn't even waste time with EFCC. Everybody was surprised he came back. Hmm. Not just that. I'm beginning to suspect that Bistain is trailing me. In fact, this is not even suspicion. I'm very sure that Bistain is trailing me. Hmm? And whatever he's up to, it is to no good though. Hey. Hey. Bistain came back. Yes. So, Mark. What are we going to do? I don't know. Um, Mimi, please, uh, the reason why I called you is because of the money I paid to you to step down for me. It's quite unfortunate to be staying this back to the compound. Yes, I understand. I know it's not your fault. Neither is it my fault. But at least let's understand things. I want you to refund me back the money. Mr. Asu, so that is why you called me out of my house this morning. Wait, wait, wait. I should refund you which money? No, Mr. Asu, which money? Have you heard where they refund money in politics? Yeah. Eh? Which money? Where's your receipts? Who was there? Which witness? Mr. Su, you did not even give me any money, first of all. Oh. You did not give me a penny. I don't have any of your money. So please, don't call me out for such rubbish again, oh, Mr. Su. Wait, Mimi. So, wait. Why are you shouting? You and I know that I gave you money. Why will I not shout? Why will I not shout? Why will you be asking me of money? Which money? You did not give me one naira. Why will you come out of my house this early morning to accuse me? What kind of accusation is well, this? Will you stop that nonsense you're talking? Who's accusing you? Did I not give you money? Did I not give you money to step that for me? Oh, I sense conspiracy. This was the reason why Mark Platter and uh, Gepran in this compound. I think Gepran, Gosset, everybody have had in this nonsense. But I tell you, it must not end, this, end that way. I need my money. Listen, Mimi, if you don't give me my money from now to tomorrow, Mimi, if I don't kill you, come here, Pascal. Ah. If you don't give me that money, Mimi, I will kill you. No, no, will you will you me now? Nah. Will you will you me? Ah, if you don't give me that money from now to tomorrow, Mimi, I will give you this compound. Don't that, worry, now. Nah. It does not go soon to that. Ah. Why did you bring me here? Kibran, calm down now. Kibran, see, eh? You know that 500,000 naira that Mr. Azu gave to me to step down for him to be the national caretaker? Now, as Bistain came back to the compound, he can no longer be the caretaker. He now came to me now that he wants a refund of the money. He wants me to give him the money back. Eh? So, how is that supposed to be my problem? Eh, Kibran, now, see, I want you to meet Mark to give you back his own share of the money that I gave to you to give him. And let him return that his share so that he can add it up and give to Mr. Azu. When did you give me money? Uh, I keep on. The last episode now. Nah. You gave me money the last episode. He yeah, gave you the money to give to Mark. There is no scene in the last episode that proved that you gave me any money, Mimi. You didn't give me any money. Uh, I keep on. I give you that money now. It was in the last episode. Go and watch that last episode again. You will not see any place that you gave me money. See, let me tell you something. Don't involve me between you and Azu's problem. Find a way to settle it. You can borrow money from China. 
Or you can even go to Oba. There might still be some money inside the bush. Go and pick money and pay as well. Mm -hmm. eh? Keep me on, I gave you money. I gave you money in the last episode now. Oh, did, 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 did the editor, did he cut that place out? I gave Kibran that money. Did no show when I gave him the money. Man, just, just shut up. Shut up. Shut up your mouth. Shut up. Eh? The only thing I want to come out from this your mouth now is when and how you're paying back my money. Because I noticed you defunded me. You defunded me. You're a thief. 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 Don't just tell me to calm down. Thief. All I want to know is when you're paying back my money. In fact, what am I even telling you? You have only three days. Three good days to pay back my money. And I don't want to know how you do it. Three days or you stay outside of me. Three days. What? Come. You are just here. Come, 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 come. Eh? ESC official gave me account details that I should give you to pay money. And I gave Kebran the account details to give to him. How are you sure it is the same account details that I gave to Kebran that he gave to you? Was I not in this head? Do I know what Kebra gave you? Because me, I know my people. If I had, if you had, the money had reached the man, the man would have uh, uh, let you go scot free. Yeah, 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 Think, think. You get the point now. Kebra! Yes, Kebra. Yes, you are worrying me. The moment I saw you in this compound, I know my plotted in this compound for a reason. I need my 500,000. Kebran, I need my 500,000. Who are bringing for me, Kebran? Did you give me any money? Why, why would you ask that nonsense? You plan with me to take that 500,000 now from me. I know your plan. All of you are right. I'm not going to back in this shop. Uh, uh, hey, officer, arrest him. This is the hoodlum. Arrest him. Uh, uh, for what? Arrest him. 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 Yes! You have the right to remain silent or anything you say or do you use against you in the court of the law. Bam! Sarge, move it. Oh, I'm moving him! I'm moving him my 500,000! I'm moving my 500,000! I'm moving my 500,000 now! 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 Look, what I'm saying is, you see that money that um, they sent to your account? That 5 million naira? Yes. It is one of my boys that sent the money. Because I sent him to do something. This boy now went and did another thing. Now police have catch him. What? Police have catch him. And it's the account that he sent that money to. Hey! Hey? Oh, how could they be how could they allow such thing to happen? Hey? But, but now it's like this now. What are we going to do? Look, he wants to put me inside trouble. Huh? Hey? And you, you know that um, if you put me in that trouble now, they will carry me away from here and take me to another cell. Then that 150 million naira that I kept somewhere now, you will not, you will not get your own share. You are into trouble already. Eh? You are into trouble already. So it is you now. You know you are already a condemned criminal. Everybody know that. Yeah, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with this one? You want to kill me? I say, find me if you want to kill me. Eh? You are very, very stupid. If you try that thing again, I will kill you! Come on, come on, Sheba, for idiot. Come on, Sheba. You don't have the hope of going Come on, sit down here. Eh? I don't even have any hope of leaving this there so soon. If you disturb us here, I will kill you like that! Let us discuss something important. And you know you are already condemned. So what are you going to do? So, Mr. Bestin, who exactly did you give the money to? Okay, sir. <clears throat> Let me explain how this thing happened. Actually, I and Mr. Mark here had a business deal. A legitimate business deal. Later on, K. Brown came and gave me an account number, saying that Mark asked him to give me the account number to make payment. I said, okay, since they are friends, I made payment into that account. Only for me to find out from Mr. Mark that uh, the account number Kebran gave to me was not the same thing he gave to Kebran to give to me. So this guy has defrauded me. This guy is a thief. Okay, that's Who enough. That's thief? enough, Mr. Bistern. Um, Mr. Kebran. Sir. Did you give him any account number? I didn't give him any account number. I don't even know what he's talking about. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Mark, how did you get involved in all this? Look, DPO. You see this thing that uh, Bistern just said now? 
is exactly a lie. <laughs> me, I don't know anything about business. When did me and uh, Bestel start doing business? Bestel, when did we start doing legitimate business together? Imagine that me and Bestel in make a business. Okay, <laughs> okay that's it. No, that's, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Mr. Bestel, do you remember the name of the person you paid money to his accounts? Yes, sir. The name is uh, one, um, one Mr. Co 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 Collins AZ. Yes, Collins AZ. That was the, the, the account number this thief gave to that's me. Right. That's alright. That's alright. That's alright. That's alright. Right. Mr. K. Brown, do you know any Collins AZ? I've never heard that name before in my life. Oh. I don't even know what I'm doing here. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Inspector, bring Collins AZ. Sir, you were putting him. Wow! Wow! That's nice! That's nice! This really shows that the police is doing their job! They're doing their job! To apprehend criminals! Oh, sister, you 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 think it's too hard now? Eh? How about? Ha! Now... Do you know this man? I don't know him. I don't know this human being. Mr. K. Brown, do you know this man? I don't know him. Ha! Liar! You don't know liar! Him. I don't know him. You know him? Sir, of course I know him. So, Are you denying me? How did you know him? Sir, as a matter of fact, he's my boss. He's the one that normally sent us to go and kidnap him. Hey! Jesus! Me! See, sir, as I speak to you... Will you shut up your mouth there? Who knows you? Stop it! Why are you doing Don't shut him out of his... Tell them the truth now. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I don't understand why you're denying me. So, sir, as I was saying, the 5 million naira that was sent into my account was sent directly from his own account. Based on the last kidnapping we did. Tell the police the truth now. No, 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 no Whatever you say, yeah, can and will be used against you in the court of law. Sir, there's a mix of song. It's Peter King! Sir, tell him the truth. Get out of this place. Tell him the truth now. Oh, this guy can free yourself from this disease. Get him out. Mama, 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 tell him the truth. Mama, mama, tell him the truth. Tell him the truth. Tell him the truth. For helping us reach one million. You brought us this far, and for this, we say God bless you. Without you, we can't go this far. We know with your support, we can make it to 10 million. We love you. Mm -hmm. Next on Kiatika series, I will beg you go and give Gibran my two million naira yes, in cash. Yes, sir. In cash. Yes, sir. Gibran, on no account should you leave compound. I am repeating it, I am repeating it. Do you hear me? Yes, yes. Gibran, this thing cannot be Kiatika. Mba! That inauguration cannot happen. Where are you going to when best time inauguration is tomorrow? I'm traveling to Yola. It's an emergency. Yola? Yes, I'm going now, yes. Is that two days journey? I know. Don't but worry. You're going to miss the inauguration? When I come back, I will split. Hope everything is fine. <laughs> Mr. Azu, plan B has been activated successfully. Yes. Now that Kibar has left the compound, <laughs> you cannot do your inauguration in peace. <laughs>